Hi friends, once again welcome back to my channel Mugambika Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for RRB Nursing Superintendent exam. Also, these questions will helpful for your other nursing officer exam preparation. We are discussing one previous year questions and answers in the previous video we discussed first 25 questions and its answers today we can see from question number 26 question multi-purpose health workers are placed at options option a taluk hospitals option b primary health centers option c community health centers and option d sub centers multi-purpose for health workers are placed at Subcenter level option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Question number 27. The first five year plan was introduced in India in the year. Options option A 1947, option B 1949, option C 1951, option D 1953. And the correct answer is option C 1951. The first five-year plan was introduced in the in India in the year 1951. Move on to the next question. The cheapest public health measure used to prevent child mortality is options option A, immunization, option B, IEC activities, option C, vitamin A, prophylaxis, option D, use of ORS. Question: Which one is the cheapest public health measure to prevent child mortality? And it is ORS. Option D is the correct answer. Use of ORS oral rehydration solution. Move on to the next question. Kala Azar infection is transmitted by options: option A, Culus mosquito; option B, ticks; option C, Phlebotomen sandfly; option D, Anopheles mosquito. Question is: Transmission of Kala Azar infection is by Phlebotome and sandfly option C is the correct answer. And the next question, question number 30. The main strategy in the revised national TB control program is to options option A addicted as many cases of tuberculosis as possible. Option B provide free antitubercular drugs. Option C give BCG vaccination to large population. Option D trace contact. Correct answer is option A. Addicted as many cases of tuberculosis as early as possible. Move on to the next question. Question number 31. About 50% of the cases of malaria in India is caused by options. Option A. Plasmodium vivax. Option B. Plasmodium ovale. Option C. Plasmodium falciparum. Option D. Plasmodium malariae. And the correct answer is option C, Plasmodium palsiparum. About 90% of the cases of malaria in India is caused by Plasmodium palsiparum. Move to the next question, question number 32. The continuous scrutiny of the factors that determine the occurrence and distribution of the disease is called options. Option A, survey. Option B, surveillance. Option C, elimination. Option D, eradication. And the correct answer is surveillance option B. Move on to the next question. According to Negro's formula, the expected date of delivery for a pregnant woman with the last menstrual period on 20th May 2018 is. In Negro's formula, how we are calculating ADD is by adding 9 calendar months and 7 days to the first day of the last normal period. That is in case of 28th day menstrual cycle. So here in our question, the pregnant woman with last menstrual period is on 12th May. So we have to add 9 calendar month from May to 9 calendar month we have to add. So it will come on February and also we have to add 7 days. So it is on 19th February 2019. So B is the correct answer according to Nagel's formula. Move on to the next question. Question number 34. Which one of the following are recommended in pregnancy to reduce the neural tube defect in newborns? Options. Option A. Iron. Option B. Calcium. Option C. Folic acid. Option D. Magnesium. To reduce the neural tube defect for in newborns, we can give folic acid option. C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. 
35th question help syndrome is a complication of options option a abrupture placenta option b placenta previa option c eclampsia option d anemia health syndrome means hemolysis elevated liver enzyme and low platelet count and it is mainly associated with hypertension and proteinuria so it can seen in case of preeclampsia option c is the correct answer on to the next question question number 36 vaginal examination is contraindicated in option a preterm labor option b precipitated labor option c abrupture placenta option d placenta previa vaginal examination is contraindicated in case of placenta previa option d is the correct answer placenta previa means placenta is implanted partially or completely over the lower uterine segment so there will be chances of bleeding so the vaginal examination is contraindicated in case of placenta previa on to the next question continuation of pregnancy is possible in options option a inevitable abortion option b missed abortion option c threatened abortion option d had to deform mold and the correct answer is it is in case of threatened abortion option c is the correct answer sir. on to the next question question number 38 a preterm labor is the one set of labor options we can see first option option a after 30 weeks and before 37 completed weeks of gestation option b after 22 weeks and before 37 completed weeks of gestation option c after 22 weeks and before 40 completed weeks of gestation option d after 30 weeks and before 40 completed weeks of gestation a preterm labor means after 22 weeks and before 37 completed weeks of gestation option b is the correct answer on to the next question question number 39 nurses should anticipate which of the following when the membrane ruptures is an unengaged head options option a cord presentation option b cord prolapse option c vasa previa option d abnormal presentation and the correct answer is option b cord prolapse on to the next question question number 40 which of the following hormone is increased in polycystic ovarian disease pcod options option a progesterone option b thyroid hormone option c androgens option d growth hormone the hormone which is increased in case of pcod is androgens option c is the correct answer and the next question is question number 41 at which gestational age does the uterus reach at the level of the umbilicus options option a 12 to 16 week option b 16 to 20th week option c 20 to 24 weeks option d 24 to 28th week and the correct answer is it is option c 20 to 24th weeks the uterus reach at the level of the umbilicus and the 16th week the fundus can be located halfway between the symphysis pubis and the umbilicus at about 20 to 24 24th week it can be located at the level of umbilicus and at 36 week it can be located at the level of cephoid process on to the next question question number 42 the primary and most important action in the active management of third stage of labor is options option a administer administration of uterotonic drug option b controlled cord traction option c applying fundal pressure option d observing for bleeding and the correct answer is you have to administer or administration of uterotonic drug option a on to the next question question number 43 a transient psychological disturbance occurring in the mother in the early postnatal period is options option a postpartum anxiety option b postpartum depression option c postpartum psychosis and option d postpartum blues and the correct answer is it is postpartum blues option d is the correct answer on to the next question the anti d immunoglobulin needs to be administered to an rh negative woman after delivery within options option a 8 hours option b 24 hours option c 48 hours and option d 72 hours anti d immunoglobulin is administered within 72 hours option d is the correct answer 
Moment the next question, a severe form of uterine prolapse is referred as options. Option A, vault prolapse. Option B, cystocele. Option C, rectocele. Option D, presidentia utere. Our question, severe form of uterine prolapse is presidentia. Uterine prolapse is presidentia. It is presidentia utere. Option D. On to the next question, postnatal exercise that helps to strengthen the pelvic floor is options option a giggles exercise option b pelvic rocking option c knee rolling option d walking the postnatal exercise that helps to strengthen the pelvic muscle is giggles exercise option a is the correct answer and the next question question number 47 and deficiency anemia is Options option A normocytin normochromic option B macrocytic normochromic option C microcytic normo hypochromic option D macrocytic hypochromic iron deficiency anemia is microcytic hypochromic option C is the correct answer on to the next question which one of the following is the preferred site for intramuscular injection in children's under one year of age Options option A deltoid, option B gluteus maximus, option C vastus lateralis, option D gluteus medius. The preferred injection site for children under 1 year of age is vastus lateralis, option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. When the temperature of newborn is between 36 to 36.4 degrees centigrade, the baby is in. Options option A severe hypothermia, option B moderate hypothermia, option C cold distress and option D normal body temperature. And the correct answer is it is cold stress. The body temperature is below normal. Question number 50. The fluid of choice for the initial 48 hours of the life of a newborn requiring fluid therapy is options option a 7.5 percentage dextrose option b 10 percentage dextrose option c 25 percentage dextrose and option d normal saline and the correct answer is have to give 10 percentage dextrose option b is the correct answer so here we are discussing previous year questions and answers. Surely these questions will helpful for your exam preparation. If it is useful for your studies, please share my videos to your friend circle and also subscribe my channel.